Welcome to the Carols of Christmas. Each day leading up to Christmas, I'll talk about a particular Christmas carol, explaining some of the history and background behind the carol, and then finally I will sing a verse of it for you. Some will be familiar, and some probably not. They all point us toward the true reason for the season, our Savior, Jesus Christ. My name is Michael D. Young, and today I will be talking about Angels from the Realms of Glory. This is the episode for December 18th, and the song is Angels from the Realms of Glory. So the poet who wrote this beloved carol overcame a traumatic childhood to create beautiful art later in his life. His name was James Montgomery, and he was born in Scotland in 1778. His parents both left to be missionaries in the West Indies, so they were Christians. They wanted to spread their religion in the West Indies. They left James behind in the care of others in Ireland. Unfortunately, both of his parents died when he was only 12, and he was left destitute and ended up on the street. As a teenager, he would write poetry and sell it on the streets of London in order to earn a bit of money. It's hard to imagine that that sort of tactic used to work. Couldn't do that these days very well. He'd probably start a YouTube channel. He eventually found steady work for a newspaper, and after the original owner was run out of town for his unpopular political views, James took over the paper, even though he was only 23 years old. He's already owned his own business. This gave him a place to earn money and to publish his poetry. He wrote this text on Christmas Eve in 1816 after reading the account of the Nativity in Luke chapter 2 in the Holy Bible. It appeared in his paper the very next day. So a blind songwriter and organist named Henry Smart wrote a melody that it paired with and premiered the new work on Christmas Day in 1821. This tune is still often used, so the text is sometimes paired with the tune of Angels We Have Heard on High as well. Each stanza talks about a different group associated with Christmas. First it's the angels, then the shepherds, then the magi, then the heavenly host, and finally it addresses sinners, so the rest of us. This final stanza is often omitted from some hymn books because it's a little bit starker, different in, in, different in tone than the other verses. It says, Sinners, wrung with true repentance, doomed for guilt to endless pains. Justice now revokes your sentence. Mercy calls you, break your chains. James was a staunch opponent of the slave trade, which he often wrote into his poetry. And so you can see in this verse, it talks about breaking your chains, which would be a very abolitionist sort of view. So I'm going to sing Angels from the Realms of Glory for you. Angels from the realms of glory, wing your flight o'er all the earth. Ye who sing creation story, now proclaim Messiah's birth. Come and worship, come and worship, Come and worship Christ the King. And it's also sometimes sung to the tune. Angels from the realms of glory, wing your flight o'er all the earth. Ye who sing creation story, now proclaim Messiah's birth. Glory. In excelsis Deo, Gloria. In excelsis Deo. Thank you so much for listening. Merry Christmas, and God bless us, everyone.